nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen We are getting ready to get out of here I'm in a really tight spot, so I gotta be Super careful so I don't touch the other trucks. There we go. We are gonna attempt to get out of here. Yeah, we made it, no problem. Yeah, I knew it last night already when I backed her in there that it was a tight spot, but uh, yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes, you know. Just gonna make a U turn here and then uh, we gotta go out that way, you know. State border ahead. State border ahead, eh? So we're gonna go make our way down to our uh, pickup place. <clears throat> now we'll pick up our load and start heading back home. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'll be home for uh, Friday, but I'll be home for Saturday sometime. That's right. And at this Petro here, you gotta give these people a card letting them know when you checked in and, and then you got to uh, <clears throat> check out and either you uh, purchase something for the amount of $20 or uh, or 50 gallons of fuel or you got to pay 15 bucks to park here so simple as that so let's take care of business the check is right over here and then we'll be right back here we go guys we are making our way down into uh, Memphis Tennessee and look at all the water up here I guess this is all the water that uh, still left here from the flood uh, that they were saying that they were going to get up here. That's right. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful sunrise. Sun is starting to peek through way over there. Yeah, that's beautiful. So let's go see what it's going to look like in Memphis today. I know coming across that bridge there last time I come across there, it was a little bit of a disaster, but hey, it's alright. A uh, smoky bear here on the shoulder. I don't know what he's doing here on the shoulder, but whatever. I guess he just wants to control everything. But look at the water, man. That's a lot of water. Looks like Memphis is almost flooded. That's what it looks like. Yeah, that scale is always open. I don't get it. You come out of Memphis, you pick up a load out of Memphis, you get no chance to scale it, then you gotta come across the scale here. That I don't get. That's why I didn't even feel this morning or last night, because uh, I don't know how heavy my load is gonna be. And if I fill up and I'm on the heavy side, they pull over there, now they're gonna give me fines. But whatever. Here you can see to the right here, there's actually a little road that goes right there beside the center state here. And it's completely flooded. <laughs> yeah, the river is only starting over here. Alrighty guys, we have gotten our load now. Took a good while to get loaded over here, but uh, we finally managed to get loaded. Took about two hours to get loaded. It's not terribly bad, but also not the best ever, you know, but uh, hey, we got loaded. That's all that matters. We are out of here now. Just gotta get back to the interstate. And, uh, get out of Memphis, and we'll be putting the hammer down again. 
That's right. I'm happy though that we got loaded. Decent time, you know. So we got to uh, put the hammer down and uh, get some miles behind us now. I'm kind of looking at it already like it's, well, it's 10.21 right now. And uh, by the time I get to St. Louis, it's going to be a few hours from now because I know it was like 200 miles to Jackson. That's so like 300 miles up to St. Louis, so that's like five hours. So that'll put me right in there in rush hour time, so... Oh man, that's going to suck. Oh well. I guess we'll just uh, drive a couple of hours and maybe uh, make a pit stop somewhere and uh, give me a bite to eat maybe and have a shower probably and, and then maybe by that time the rush hour will be a little slower or a little, a little bit better you know, a little bit better with the traffic you know. Oh well, nothing I can do about it anyway, so it doesn't do me any good complaining about it. <laughs> we gotta do what we gotta do. That's how life goes. You get to do what you get to do. And this road is not the best either. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Well guys, I think it is time to make a pit stop. What do you guys think? Is it time to make a pit stop yet? I think it is. I'm gonna give it a shot anyways and see what I can find down here. It's supposed to be a little bit of a truck stop just down here, down the corner here, so we're gonna go check it out. See if we actually find something. I don't really see anything yet, but maybe there is something, I don't know. Oh, maybe over there. That might be it. There's a lot of trucks in there anyways. Turn right on East Malone Avenue, US 62, and then make Supposed a short left turn 150 feet. Some kind of steakhouse across the street or somewhere from the place, so... Bring it well, maybe I'll go check it out and see what I can find. See what I can find. Nobody coming, so that's good. Yeah, there is a little bit of a tiny truck stop I guess up here. Yeah there it is. It's kinda looking for where exactly it was Continue supposed on to this be. Road for four miles. I thought I read somewhere there's supposed to be a steakhouse here but I don't really see anything. Maybe not. Maybe I don't see it. Just because I don't see it doesn't mean it's not here, right? That's usually what they say. In 800 feet, turn left on Woods Lane, and then oh, well. turn left in 850 feet. We'll go park over here, and then uh, we'll go see what we can find. I just need to take a break. I don't know why, but I just feel like having a break. Alrighty, guys, we are still cruising along I-55. We got a little while to go yet till we get to the love truck stop where we're gonna be fueling the truck up. Then yeah, we'll probably take a shower over there. Unfortunately, at this truck stop that I stopped at there, where I thought there was gonna be a steakhouse, there wasn't. I guess the uh, program that I used there was wrong in showing what kind of restaurant is in the area. Maybe there used to be a steakhouse, but not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, well, that's okay. We will survive. We just got ourselves a couple of fried chicken and a little bit of rice and had a bit of a bite to eat, had our half an hour off. And I didn't really have to have a half an hour off. I could have gone over there to the other truck so I had my half an hour off, but which I probably will do anyways. Mm -hmm. I'll 
fuel up there and I'll go uh, probably take me a shower and then we'll see how far we will continue on today with our journey don't know exactly where we're going to end up for tonight but uh, we'll go until we are tired or until we decide to stop that's usually how I do it unless I'm under a lot of pressure on getting somewhere then we try and max out the hours but other than that we just whatever if I feel like within an hour I want to stop I stop oh that was not good stone or something like that just came flying off of that truck there and hit my windshield can't really see where it hit doesn't look like it was a big spot but oh well that's all right we survived it right yeah looks like we got about 62 miles to go yet so we'll be at that uh, loves truck stop and the fuel seemed to be very cheap over there. That's the reason why I want to go down there and fuel up over there. We'll fuel it all the way up because we got actually a really light load. It's only 11,600 pounds, so we should be good. Should be all right to fuel it up all the way. Oh, isn't that something, eh? There is a steakhouse right there, Texas Steakhouse. <laughs> but I bet you I couldn't get in there with the truck. Uh, it looks like I could be, but yeah, I would have been able to get in there probably, but they probably don't like it too much to see a truck in there probably. But I'm not really hungry now, right? I had me a little bit of a bite to eat up there, so not hungry anymore we are leaving the loves right now we fueled up the truck had ourselves a much needed shower had me a little bit of a bite to eat and guess what now it's time to hit the road and get some miles in that's right Now that's time to go find out to see what the traffic is going to look like up there in St. Louis. Yeah. Oh well, we will find out when we get there I suppose. But as you can see it's uh, starting to drizzle now, eh? I like it. Yeah, I would like a nice little rain wash all my all the salt off of my truck you know that would be very nice I actually need a truck wash but ain't gonna get a truck wash if it's raining right <laughs> although I probably would if I was home right now I probably would be uh, taking the truck to the truck wash and washing it because uh, I do have a lot of salt on the truck so that needs to be washed off that's for sure but anyways let's continue on rolling and uh, let's see what we're gonna see up there in St. Louis we'll show you if anything exciting happens already already guys we are done for today the traffic was not too bad there in St. Louis There's a few slowdowns here and there but other than that it was all right but uh, you know we found ourselves a little bit of a truck stop up here like they got a little bit of a gravel parking lot over there I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see it but uh, they don't have a lot of truck stop parking here uh, a lot of parking in this area here but they got a little bit of parking across the street there so that's all that's required right that's all we need we found a spot right here we're in good good safe place I think and now we're done I guess we're just gonna have our 10 hour break and then uh, continue on with our journey tomorrow going home I think we got well, what do we got we got 890 miles to go till we get home so we got a good distance to go yet so if you do 600 tomorrow these are seven eight nine so all these us with 300 miles so 
that should probably put us very close to Fargo then tomorrow so uh, that would be awesome but anyways we are done so uh, we will go render this video and then we'll be back tomorrow so uh, remember guys we are seven days behind uh, I do that on purpose so that gives me time to work on the videos and upload them to YouTube and schedule them for you guys so uh, I know some people don't realize that but uh, we are seven days behind so anyways if you are new to our channel we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button and you'll be notified on a regular basis when I upload a new video and hey if you enjoyed the video give me a big fat thumbs up if you didn't like it I guess give me a thumbs down if you liked it very much hey would you mind sharing the video for me that would help me out tremendously that lets people know about my channel and that gets me uh, people uh, subscribe to me and if you did that we appreciate that very much so with that being said have a good night everybody we'll catch you on the next one behind me that day is gonna come